Hello, this is Kristen Baumgartner at Scanco. I'm going to show you how to easily validate your picks live on the warehouse floor against your Sage sales orders and eliminate mispulled items before ever hitting the shipping department. On the screen, you're going to see a Sage demo environment along with an AirPlay of my iPad Mini. I will be doing these transactions live today. Today we're going to be showing you how to pull items, picking for your sales orders, and eliminating mistakes. I'm going to be using this picking icon, and I am going to be going into my quick pick option. The first prompt I will get is for my warehouse. I'm going to stay in my main warehouse today, and the next prompt in my multi-bin enabled system is going to ask me which bin am I going to be picking for. I have it defaulted to shipping because that's where I'm going to be staging my item. I'm going to choose my shipping bin, and the next prompt is for my sales order number. If I have that information barcoded, I can go ahead and just scan it, and it will pull up the next field, which is prompting for my item. If I have that information, I can go ahead and scan those barcodes as well. If I need to look up that information, I can use the small magnifying glass at the top, and this will tell me the ordered quantities, what's currently been picked, and what is remaining to be picked for all of the items attached to this sales order. I'll go ahead and choose my first item. It's asking which bin am I pulling this item from in my multi-bin enabled company. I'm going to default to my primary bin, which is my A10L. And it's going to prompt me for the quantity I am currently picking. Again, here we have notification that zero of the four that have been ordered have already been picked. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say I'm picking up those four items. And it's going to move me along to my next item. If I, the items on my list are serialized or lotted, I'll also be able to capture that information at this level. Again, I'm going to choose my primary bin and I got an error message saying I did not have sufficient quantity. If I choose to, I can go back to that bin, do a quick lookup, and here we can see quantities available for all of our bins. I'm going to choose A10L again, and now it will prompt me for my lot number. Again, I can choose to do a lookup. If I have that information barcoded, I can go ahead and scan it. For the, two, for the two items that have been ordered, I've picked zero so far. So I can go ahead and say, in this instance, I'm going to choose one. I only have one available in that lot. If I go to my lookup again, we can see very easily it's taking this information as I'm entering it. I now have four satisfied for my first item. I have one satisfied for my second. And I still have none picked for my last. If I choose that very last item, again, it's asking me for which bin I'm going to be pulling it out of. This item happens to be serialized. This item also has a linked image within Sage. You can see there's a little picture here. I can choose to tap on that. I can go ahead and zoom in. If you choose to link images to make it extremely easy for employees, we can, do, we can handle that on the Scanco software as well. The serial number that it's prompting me for, again, if my information's barcoded, I can scan it, I can type it in, I can look it up, and we will continue along in our process. Now, let's say someone goes to pick up an item that is not on our order. If an inc incorrect item is scanned, the software is intuitive enough to bi-directionally validate against your sales order in Sage to say this item is not on this. Do not pick this item because it's not associated with this order. When I am done picking, I can go ahead and choose to send my information in to Sage. It's going to ask me if I want to go ahead and proceed, but now we have another error message. These sales orders are short because they have unresolved line items. Remember, we didn't have all of our completed quantities for our lotted items. If I choose no, I can go ahead and process it short as is. If I choose yes, I'm going to go back to my sales order. Again, I can look up what am I missing? Did I make a mistake? Here it is. There's the one item we haven't picked yet. 
I'm going to choose that item. I am going to choose the bin that has the decayed quantity for this. I am going to choose my lot number. And oops, the lot is not valid. Again, the system is intuitive enough to know when we are running into an error in our stage system. I can go ahead at this point in time and do a lookup for this lot number and say, well, what do I have available that can be picked? Again, I have a different lot of 101. I can choose that lot. I can finish my pick. And now when I send that information in, I will no longer have unresolved items and we will have our success message. Now, on the stage side, what have we actually been doing? For our sales order, I'm going to go ahead and look at that exact same sales order we were just working on. When I go to my lines tab, we're going to see all of the information that I've picked has now been allocated in our multi-bin system for the items that we were correctly picking on the floor. If I choose, I can go in to each of these line items. I can go to my distribution tables for my lot and my serial. Not only do we have the bin location that this item is now staged in, but we're actually capturing the lot numbers we were scanning on the floor. Again, for my serialized item, same. Here is my serial number that I captured on the floor and where it is staged. Now we have these items properly allocated and staged in our shipping area and ready to go.